still, cool, and moist. A steady, gentle breeze. Can you smell the sea? Funny how the salt air gives you a marvelous, thirsty appetite. Wait a minute. Looks like a sow-easter's blowing up out of the northwest. You gotta watch out for them sow-easters. Oh no! 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 Sea breezes occur when inland areas heat up on sunny afternoons. And sea breeze cocktails occur when you need to cool down from that heat. <laughs> Before the sun melts all your ice, right? <laughs> A light, refreshing drink, the sea breeze makes you feel the wind at the seashore. It's made with vodka, cranberry, and grapefruit juice. And is a 1980s classic. I know because I made my fair share of them back then. It has a similarity to other drinks of the time. Drinks like the Cape Codder, which is simply vodka and cranberry juice. And the Bay Breeze, which is a Cape Codder with the addition of pineapple juice. Even the Malibu Breeze, made with coconut rum. To understand where the sea breeze came from, we've got to go way back to 1959, when cranberries were once a serious issue. You see, a problem confronted the cranberry industry when a bunch of berries from the Pacific Northwest were found to contain traces of the herbicide aminotriazole, which is basically a bog weed killer that caused cancer in lab rats. Even the government at the time advised everyone to stop eating cranberries if they weren't sure where they came from. Well, as you can imagine, the cranberry farmers took a hell of a big hit. Cranberry products were removed from store shelves, restaurants took them off their menus, and before long, the entire cranberry industry was nearly wiped out. Now, I don't know when they stopped using that nasty herbicide, but by the 1960s, Ocean Spray, along with some clever marketing, started publishing recipe booklets to encourage the consumption of those tart little berries. Naturally, one of those recipes was named Seabreeze. Hmm. Sea breeze. <laughs> Sounds more like a racehorse, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll put five dollars down. Five dollars down to win. Come on, sea breeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what do you mean I didn't win? Despite the popularity of this 1980s refresher, it appears that the sea breeze might have originated decades earlier in a slightly different form. In Harry Craddock's Savoy Cocktail Book from 1930, he includes a recipe for something called a sea breeze cooler. Though a completely different drink from the way a sea breeze is made today, many believe that the sea breeze cooler was the inspiration for the modern sea breeze version. Why don't we make both of these drinks and find out which one makes the best summertime refreshment? Yeah. We're going to start with some fresh grapefruit juice here. What I'm looking for is like an ounce and a half. I'm going to fine strain it. Ooh, look at the color. Love that. Need a little bit more. You want to go fresh. You know, it just makes a world of difference. That looks pretty good, actually. Perfect. Okay. We're going to pop some ice in our uh, highball here. It's so fast to make, guys. Fill her up. Lots of ice. We like ice. And we're going to start with two ounces of vodka. Cranberry juice. I've got three ounces. Now, um, I'm going to use Ocean Spray Cranberry here. You could use like a natural, not from concentrate, cranberry juice, but it might be a little too tart, right? Where, it's kind of funny, they call this the original cranberry, yet there's uh, grape 
juice in it, there's apple juice in it. So those, those little extras, uh, even pear juice actually is in it. Um, those little extras sweeten it up. Uh, if you did use a natural, um, 100% cranberry juice, you might need a little simple syrup as well. So I've got three ounces of Ocean Spray cranberry juice. Yeah. And our grapefruit juice, one and a half ounces. Oh, look at the lovely color. Yeah. And all we got to do is garnish it. This is kind of odd. I guess it's a, I guess it's a nice pairing. Uh, but we always garnished with a piece of fresh lime and there's no lime in it but uh i guess it's a it's a nice pairing right but i think it should have some grapefruit yeah yeah it's coming um and why not just for fun an astertium flower oh yeah make it make it pretty make it pretty and there you have it the uh, modern sea breeze So let's make Harry Craddock's Sea Breeze Cooler. Okay, same as before, we're gonna build this drink in a highball, fill her up with ice. One ounce gin. We got the aviation here. Apricot brandy. One ounce. Half an ounce of fresh pressed lemon juice. And in Harry Craddock's recipe, he called for two dashes of uh, grenadine. This is our homemade grenadine. Uh, if you want to know how to make your own, click the link. <laughs> um, about a quarter to a half teaspoon here. That's about it. Yeah, right like that. And all we're going to do is top it with soda. Uh, I've had my soda in the fridge. That always helps. Uh, keeps everything nice and cool. There we go. Beautiful. Give it a little stir. Yeah, look at that color. That's beautiful. Nice. And uh, he suggests garnishing with fresh mint. Now, <laughs> I just picked this mint out of my garden. <laughs> you can see here too. It's even in blossom. How cool is that? You know, once you have mint, you'll always have mint. <laughs> but if it's in the garden, use it, you know? Why go and buy stuff, man? So we'll just get a couple little sprigs here. Yeah. Ah, the one with the flower. Why not? There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. And there we have Harry Craddock's uh, Sea Breeze Cooler. I'm gonna throw in a couple straws and give them a go. Uh, which one first? Hmm. Uh, the, the, the sea breeze, the actual sea breeze. What, the original? Yeah. The original? No, no, no. The, no. Oh, the, the modern. Yeah. The modern sea breeze. It is uh, kind of pretty with that sturgeon flower. Nice, nice, refreshing. Um, there's a real tartness from the grapefruit coming in, pairing really nice with the cranberry. It's, it's, it's almost like not drinking any alcohol at all. <laughs> mm. Okay, let's try Harry Craddock's version. Oh, wow. First thing I get is mint. <laughs> mint up the nose. Wow, this is nice. Kind of liking this one better. <laughs> this one is a lot more complex. I think it's the apricot brandy and the gin. They're pairing really nicely together. I don't know. I'm kind of swaying towards uh, Harry Craddock's version. <laughs> Either or. Um, they're both a wonderful cooler <laughs> for the summertime. The modern version. The 1930s version. Ah, they're delish. <laughs> Make them. Make them both. <laughs>
I'm gonna throw in a couple straws. Oopsie. <laughs> Try that again. I've got two Sea Breeze cocktails. I've got the modern version. Quite tart, delicious, refreshing. I've got the 1930s version, which is beautiful. There's <clears throat> very complex flavors going on. I'm almost liking this one better, you know? Anyway, uh, hit the subscribe button, check the other videos out, and um, maybe hit that like button too, because uh, that helps with our algorithms and maybe we'll get more views and you know, all that stuff. <laughs> anyway, if you got five bucks, put it on Seabreeze. You can't go wrong.